Okay, welcome everybody. This is CSIS 3020, Web Programming and Design. This is week four, first video lecture. Video lectures. Again, one hour, one hour and a half each. And then tonight, I'll be posting the JavaScript. We're going to start playing around with JavaScript tonight. JavaScript is going to take us two weeks because it's very extensive. So this week and next week we're going to be doing JavaScript. You can download last year's video and also you can download this video that I'm recording right now probably by tomorrow morning. But if you want anything to be dynamic on your browser. You need to provide code as part of that page. And that's where JavaScript comes into place. So in addition to content, which is HTML, in addition to style, which is CSS, there's something called JavaScript. And images, of course. There's something called JavaScript. And it will end in, it's a file that ends in JS for short. That file will contain JavaScript code that will execute on the browser. And that's how you are going to be able to, let's just do a very simple Google. In a very similar fashion, you guys are going to be able to find a whole bunch of websites that will provide you JavaScript for different needs. Yeah, these are expensive. Thank you very much. So you're going to be able to find, for instance, I forgot, they used to have one. Let's check out this sleepy one. So this this one gives you like a presentation type. this does a web site do something like this and all I'm doing is left key left arrow right arrow believe it or not this is one page one HTML page with the content 
Yeah, the CSS is not that nice, but it gives you the nice colors and background and all that stuff, right? So it's pr maybe not that complicated CSS, but there is a CSS. But there's also a JavaScript that is part of the HTML that allows me, with the right arrow or left arrow, to switch between the different parts of the content. There are other websites, for instance, I have seen, and I can't find it right now, I have seen websites that have menus similar to the the navigational bar in an I, I, in, uh, in an Apple. Have you guys seen it? That when you when you hove over it, the the one item in the menu that you want to see it it grows, like it goes through a like a magnifying glass. Thank you. Like through a magnifying glass, that can be done on a website. Are you gonna say, but how? Well. That's something that it's dynamically done. Obviously, HTML is not going to let you do that. CSS is not going to let you do that. But JavaScript does. And JavaScript, what it does, it manipulates the HTML elements and it man manipulates the CSS styles to accomplish that. So that's why when you want to get something dynamic on your website something similar to and it doesn't have to be this is just one of the hundreds of examples that you can use JavaScript for wish I could find that website it's a pretty cool one We'll probably be able to. It's um. What's the name of that? Is it magnifying glass? Magnifying. Magnifying glass effect. JavaScript. like this. These guys even tell you how to accomplish it and gives you the code. So there you go. You don't even need me. What do you need me for? The internet is out there. That's the best that's the best teacher. <laughs> um magnifying glass. Alright, show me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's not really a menu, but it's a magnifying glass. Yeah. I should have I should have included JavaScript menu. Anyway, I will take a look at during the break and and see if I can find it. Um, but anyway, the next two weeks we're going to be concentrating on learning JavaScript. Why? Because after you learn how to create content in HTML, how to make it nice and beautiful with cascading style sheets, you also have to learn how to manipulate those two elements using a dynamic client side client-side scripting language like JavaScript. And when I say client-side, means, yes, it's going to run on the browser that asks for it. And it's going to be part of the HTML and images and styles that gets downloaded to your computer locally. Okay? So you have to learn that because you guys are going to be using it for some dynamic and it's up to you what that is. It could be a menu, it could be a widget, 
whatever you guys want to use it for, it's up to you, but you have to use at least one JavaScript element in your website. Okay? So let's take a break. <laughs>